Yo, what's up, weebs? It's your favorite trash-talking otaku here to give you the rundown on the most overpowered main characters in isekai anime. Get ready to enter fantasy worlds and watch protagonists beat down their enemies with the greatest of ease. This is gonna be lit. Let's get it! I've got the techno on my mind Spending in the club all night I gotta move My body, body Move My body, body Techno for your side Getting in the bumpy road You gotta move My body, body Move My body, body Number 10, I'm standing on one million lives. An isekai with a twist. Instead of being granted awesome powers, Yusuke and his friends are randomly assigned fantasy RPG roles by a shady game master. Yusuke gets stuck as a lowly farmer while his friends become a magician and warrior. Not an ideal situation when you're transported to a dangerous mythological world on a time-sensitive quest. This mismatched trio must now grind their way through increasingly perilous phases and use their hodgepodge abilities to complete quests. Their success or failure holds untold consequences for both worlds. With no response, they'll need skill, luck, and teamwork to survive. Will they triumph against all odds or perish in this deadly game? The dice are rolling in this wild, unpredictable isekai adventure. Number 9. Re-Creators Brace for epic action as fictional characters invade the real world. Sota is just an ordinary high schooler until his favorite anime heroine miraculously springs to life before him. But the excitement turns to shock as more fictional beings materialize in Tokyo from all genres and mediums. With destructive powers and incomplete backgrounds, these creations soon spiral into chaos. Soda joins forces with other unlikely heroes like military otaku Celestia and mecha mage Meteora to uncover the startling truth. Someone has weaponized imagination itself to rewrite reality to their whim. To save their worlds and authors, creations and humans must forge new alliances before this deadly game escalates beyond control. In an ultimate crossover clash, anything goes, and no story is safe in Recreators. Number 8, Bloodlad. Fang out with Staz, a vampire overlord obsessed with Japanese culture who rules the demonic eastern district. His otaku interests leave little time for traditional blood-sucking, though. But when seemingly normal human girl Fuyumi wanders into his territory, Staz leaps at the chance for a real-life taste of home cooking and manga from the human world. He vows to help Fuyumi return after a monster attack leaves her a wandering ghost. Along the way, Staz recruits an oddball gang including Werewolf Wolf and Frankenstein's monster Francois to aid this undead damsel. But saving Fuyumi proves more monstrously chaotic than expected. With wacky sidekicks, dimensional hijinks, and battles against rival vampire clans, Staz is in for the otaku adventure of an afterlifetime in Bloodlad. Number 7. Do you love your mom and her two-hit multi-target attacks? Get ready for a hilariously outrageous anime that pushes boundaries like no other. Do you love your mom and her two-hit multi-target attacks? Follows Masato and his overpowered mom Mamako as they get transported into an RPG-inspired world. Their already questionable mother-son relationship takes some crazy turns as Mamako utilizes her maxed-out stats and abilities to embarrass Masato at every chance. With fan service galore and Mamako repeatedly putting Masato in compromising positions, this show will leave you either blushing or busting a gut. If you're looking for an anime that throws aside all subtlety and filters for maximum comedic effect, then strap in for Do You Love Your Mom and her two-hit multi-target attacks. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Number 6. In Another World with My Smartphone After an absurd accident, God offers teenager Mochizuki Tuya a once-in-a-lifetime deal reincarnation in a fantasy world with one item of his choosing. Tuya boldly picks his trusty smartphone, suspecting it will give him a major advantage in this medieval realm. He's right. Armed with a device from the future, 
Tuya becomes overwhelmingly powerful in this new land of magic and mythology. Whether it's creating teleportation circles, summoning rain in the desert, or even charming, powerful maidens, Tuya's modern tech allows him to solve any problem with ease. Join this overpowered hero as he leisurely travels the world, makes new friends, and casually changes the fate of empires, all while never running out of battery. In another world with my smartphone proves gadgets rule, even in alternate universes. Number five, Ixian Saga DT. Level up for wacky adventure as gamer Khan Hokazi gets transported into his favorite MORPG. While chatting with an in-game princess, Khan suddenly finds himself in real danger in a fantasy realm. Using skills acquired from years of gameplay, Khan manages to defeat the princess's attackers with flair. As a reward, he's invited to join her party of oddball adventurers, including goth Lolita witch Eric Pyle and hyperactive knight Marion. But this is no game. Khan needs to help them defeat the looming forces of evil while scrambling to figure out how to log out of this stranger-than-fiction predicament. With dimensional hijinks, potty humor, parodies galore, and Khan's overpowered gaming abilities, Ixian Saga DT takes isekai absurdity to hilarious new levels. Number four, Seven Senses of the Reunion. When Asahi reunites with his old gaming friends in the VR MRPG reunion, they're shocked to see their deceased teammate, Mamori, also logged in. Years ago, Mamori mysteriously collapsed and died while playing as her avatar. So how is she back in the game? This miraculous reunion inspires the group to get their team Subaru back together and investigate Mamori's bizarre return. But they soon discover this digital ghost holds a cryptic warning about a buried secret and betrayal. As they journey through stunning VR worlds, the line between games and reality starts to blur. Will their rekindled friendship survive this glitchy ghost from the past? Can Mamory rest in peace? Save your progress and join the search for answers in Seven Senses of the Reunion. Number three, the world's finest assassin reincarnated as an aristocrat. The greatest assassin on earth gets a second shot at life, and this time he's starting from the top. Reborn as the illegitimate son of a noble family, Lug remembers his deadly skills from his previous life. He sets out to become the world's finest assassin once again, aided by his extensive modern knowledge and the magical abilities of his new body. Lug soon attracts the attention of a powerful organization that seeks to use his powers to change society. Can he eliminate corruption and create a more just kingdom without revealing his true abilities? Get ready for intense action, political intrigue, and surprising twists as the ultimate assassin is reincarnated into a fantasy world of magic and monsters. Number two, the devil is a part-timer. After barely escaping a losing war in Ente Isla, the Devil King Satan is forced to make a living in modern-day Tokyo. Stripped of his magical powers, he takes on the guise of human Sadao Mao and starts flipping burgers to survive in this strange new world. Along with his loyal General Alciel, they must adapt to mundane jobs and small apartments after ruling over demons in a sprawling fantasy realm. But with hero Amelia hot on their trail, seeking to finish the fight they started in Ente Isla, how long can the devil remain an ordinary part-timer? Get ready for fish-out-of-water comedy as a mighty demon lord conquers the challenges of customer service and paying rent on Earth. Number one, how not to summon a demon lord. When socially awkward gamer Takuma is summoned to another world, he's forced to become his cool and confident MMO alter ego, the all-powerful demon lord Diablo. Summoned by two sexy cat girls, Rem and Shara, Diablo is meant to help liberate their kingdom. But these girls made one fatal mistake, summoning the most overpowered player in Cross Reverie who barely knows how to interact in the real world. As Diablo, Takuma isn't taking any summons from anybody, 
especially without consent. Together with his busty new companions, he embarks on raunchy adventures while trying to understand how to communicate with real women. It's an epic isekai quest where the most anti-social player becomes the most overpowered overlord. And that's a wrap, folks. Those were definitively the most outrageously overpowered main characters in isekai anime today. I hope you enjoyed watching them demolish their foes with little to no effort at all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more wacky anime shenanigans. And remember, just because you find yourself transported to a fantasy world doesn't mean you'll automatically get cool powers. Life's not fair like that. Laters!